Mountain skin skull Cinderella look. I wanted to do a Disney princess look, but I didn't want to do the standard normal look, so I took inspiration from lots of ideas and put it all together to create this one look, which is kind of like a gothic dead skull Cinderella princessy look. So keep on watching if you want to see how I got this look. First off, I'm going to start with taking just a part of my makeup off that I already have on. This will be where I put the black. I'm going to dig straight into my Huda palette and use Eden. I'm going to use this as my transition shade. And then go in with some muffs on the crease. Now I'm going to go in with Amethyst, which is a beautiful purple. This blends so beautiful. I was in love with this colour. And just blending that back and forth with small circles and then going in with a pencil brush just to make it more dense and pigmented. Now I'm going in with Royal which is a beautiful metallic and just doing that all over my lid. Now I'm going in with Twilight and doing this on the inner corner to add some sparkle. And then I'm going in with Retrograde, which is a darker version of Twilight, and just putting that in the centre. Now I'm going in with Eden and doing that under the lower lash line. And then I'm just going to pop some Amethyst on the lower lash line, focusing it on the outer corner of the eye. So I'm going to be using my Sigma blush. This is a beautiful blush. I'm just brushing that along my cheeks. And I'm going in with my Sigma Wicked Gel Liner. I love using this because it lasts and it really is so easy to apply. I'm going back in with the Sigma Wicked Gel. I'm going to be using this to paint the skull shape. So I'm just starting out by mapping where I want the dripping lines to be. And just going in with a cotton bird just to mark things up exactly how I want them. And I'm going in with a bigger brush and just filling in the negative areas. When you're doing this, just take your time to make sure that you don't go over where you've mapped out and just slowly brush it outwards to create more of depth. I'm just going in and colouring the negative space on my nose and then blending out the lines a bit to add more shade and definition. Ta -da! <laughs> so now I'm going in with my ghost contour stick and I'm using the white side to go in the centre of all the black areas just to add more depth and I'm going in with this Makeup Revolution palette just to set the white and add a more of a pop to it. And then because the skin is dripping, we want to give that look that it is actually melting and slowly pulling on the skin. So we're going to draw some lines in and just dots just to make sure it looks like the skin is actually dripping. And I'm just going to go in and colour in a circle around my eye for that skeleton side of my face. And I'm just setting that with some black eyeshadow. Now I'm going in along the waterline with a black eyeliner just to make sure that that area is fully covered. And now I'm using this SFX Ghost Whitener just to paint the whole of that side of my face. 
I'm not worrying too much where I'm putting it, I'm just covering all the areas and using a bit to highlight on the socket area. And I'm using a cotton bud just to map out where I'm going to put the black. I'm just using a little cotton pad just to wipe all the white off because I don't want it to turn out grey, we want it to be really dark. I'm just going in with my liner again, mapping out the edge of it and then I'll be colouring in all that negative space with a bigger brush. I'm just going in with a smaller detail brush just to get in and then shade it inwards towards the centre of the face. So I'm just shading it so it's more blended. I'm just adding a bit more grey around the edges on the white just to add more definition. And now I'm going in and doing the teeth. So I'm just following the lines of my actual teeth. It's a bit tricky on the sides but just be patient and take your time and then as you can see here I'm doing triangles in between them lines to create a tooth shape and I'm just going back over with more black to make them more defined Now I'm just going in between the teeth and colouring that in with more black just to make the teeth more defined and stand out more. And I'm just using a brush to blend that outwards. Now I'm going in with some Colourpop liquid lipstick just on my lip area, just on the inside of the lip so that you can't see any pink. And I decided my teeth weren't contrasting enough with the black they were more of a grey colour so I've just got a cotton bud and I'm just taking away the white there and reapplying the white so it pops more and it's a lot more brighter So now I'm just finishing off the edges of the skull face I'm just doing the temple bone line here and then colouring in the negative space. So here I'm adding some more detail around the socket line to make it really pop because if you look at a skull it's not flat, it has ridges and things. So I'm just going in and blending some brown into it and then adding some white in between to make the bones really pop. It makes the skull look a lot more 3D. And I mixed some gelatine with some foundation and this is what I created to do the skin with. So I'm just dripping that down. It did set really, really fast and I ended up putting it up a bit too high so I ended up covering a lot of the detail that I did. But you don't have to use this. You can just do it with the face paint. It still looks really cool but this is just to add texture. And it was kind of fun. <laughs> So you see it just drips but it was starting to set, I didn't have enough time to do down the centre of my face, as you can see it started to dry, but how cool is it and it dries and you have bits hanging and it's awesome. So now I'm just going in with some concealer that's a bit lighter just to add more of a definition to it and to blend it for my skin tone. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was so fun to create. I love this melting skin effect. Absolutely love this video. I did a voiceover because it was a long video. I didn't want to keep having to stop and talk. I just wanted to get on with it and not be distracted. So that is why I did a voiceover. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. I am loving doing these Glamourine videos. They are so much fun. As you all know, special effects makeup is my favourite to do. I wish Halloween could be everything. So I really hope you enjoyed this. Remember to hit that thumbs up button to like and click down below to subscribe. And I will see you next time for the next Glamour Wings.